YouTube. It's Valerie at Stitching in the Barn. Um, this is a little cross stitch channel or quilting channel or punch needle channel or rug hooking channel or who knows what, but um, I like to do all those things and knit and make things. Anyway, anyway, it's, uh, it's a crafting channel. How's that? <laughs> I'm sorry I've been so absent. I've been very, 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 very busy. Um, I will show you pictures. We've been working on our house. Yay! Finally, after many, many, many years of dreaming about doing this, we finally had a wall of our living room pointed, which means they, uh, it had some, um, fabulous 60s paneling, 70s paneling on it. We took that off and then there's crumbly plaster underneath, which they had to chip off and then they sandblast the stone and then they put new mortar in between the stone and we are just thrilled with how it looks. And I will put in before, during, and after pictures at the end of the video so you can see the whole process. Um, it was so dusty. I mean, it was just, the first day they, they started um, in the evening, of course, my husband and I would clear out and then we'd go back to peak at night and it was so thick with dust. I mean, we had masks on and everything, but it was like, you could hardly see, it was just so dusty. So it was a huge mess to clean up. I mean, the people who did the work did a huge clean up themselves. But then of course, when they left, we were in there scrubbing and vacuuming and doing everything. And then we had our floors redone. So we were very excited about that. As I think I told you in a previous video, um, the people before had put a piece of carpet down and stained around it. Well, we found it, in fact, it wasn't stain, it was paint. They painted around the carpet in a dark brown. So we were just thrilled to lift that up. And of course, now that the living room has been done, we're looking at the stairs and the kitchen and all the upstairs bedrooms. We're like, ooh, we want to do those too. One thing at a time. And of course, everything looks shabby then. Um, everything needs repainting and every room looks shabby by comparison. And so you're just going, ah. Uh. <laughs> so we did all that and we painted the living room as well and all the woodwork. Um, so we got all that done and then my son came to visit from California for a few days. So we were very busy with him and that was very exciting too. So honestly, I have not had a lot of time for crafting and stitching. I'll show you where I am with things and then I will announce the winner of the giveaway. And that's pretty much going to be just a quickie check in today um, to say, hi, I miss you all. I love reading your comments. I love the helpful things that you all tell me about and send me hints and show me pictures of your progress on different things and give me ideas and I just love the communication part so I wanted to be sure and check in and say hi and I will try and get my act together and be more regular and be on here and show you more stuff but um just quickly quickly um I've been working on the fat quarter shop fright night mysteries stitch along and this is how far I am on this week's it's a very cute little Halloween pattern. Um, I have to fill in the black of the haunted house and then I'll be done. And then they release the next part um, this Friday. So I gotta get a move on here. <laughs> Cause I wanna be sure and be caught up. I wanna have all this filled in um, before the next part comes out. And the next part's down here. So you can kind of guess what that would be. And then the final part will be the last Friday of the month and it'll be over here. So that's that one. So I don't have a pattern to show you, but you can see it's a mystery stitch along, which is fun because you 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 just do your piece each week and hope, you know, you don't know what's coming next. This is also kind of a mystery stitch along from Fat Quarter Shop. It's the Prim Stitch Series um, by Laurie Holt. Except you can know what this is gonna look like because she's designed, this is based on a quilt that she designed. And if you go to the Fat Quarter Shop or just Google Laurie Holt Prim Quilt, you'll see, you can see all the different motifs that are going to come. They're all um, based on an applique quilt. So the, the pieces themselves look like a little applique stitch. I'm, this is horribly wrinkled, but I'll show it to you anyway. This is number four, Kindness and Generosity. So it's a little farmer guy and a uh, birdhouse and a bird and very cute. And here he is. I just have to finish his hat, his hand, 
the birdhouse, a couple stars, and a bird. And, and this is very enjoyable. This is 25 count Lugana. Um, it's a Laurie Holt fabric. I, I think it's called Prim, actually, this color. And I am doing mine all together. I've told you about this because I want it to look like kind of a quilt, like a mini quilt or a big wall hanging. Um, so here's what I've got so far. Let's see if I can fold this in a way that will help you see. Um, they give you the cute border and you just put the different squares in there. And I'm thinking when I finish it, I will probably do some sort of uh, borders in some quilt fabric around the edge. We'll see. That's my thought du jour. Anyway, um, and that is a lot of fun to stitch. Oh, I didn't show you this cute bag that I have all my Fright Night stuff in from the fat border. Love it. Um, this will be great for future Halloween projects too. On my own things, I've been doing uh, Prairie Schooler Pumpkin Patch. I did a little more on that. Not a ton more. I did some more fill-in down here. So I'll show you where I am on that. I don't think the words will take me that long to do. Um, you know, there's just one little crow in there and a little pumpkin. But otherwise, the middle section's pretty much all words. And I've already started the house. And I just have to fill in here. So this is the kind of thing I can do while I'm watching TV or whatever. Um, this is a... What did I tell you this fabric was? Um, lamb's wool. Which is lovely and soft. And I, I took... I did have it in a Q-snap for a while because um, I felt like I was making less errors as far as catching threads from the other squares. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like because it's so soft, the threads kind of migrate into each other's squares. And so you want that crisp definition of the X in the proper hole. And sometimes I'd pick up an extra thread from the next square over, that kind of thing. So I put it in a Q-snap for a while and it was just too slow for me. I, I like to go much faster if I stitch in hand. So I took it out again. And I think maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it or switching your needle or something because I'm finding I'm not having as much of a problem as I was initially. So I'm gonna stick with that out of the Q-snap. And then I have done some more on the Brenda Gervais with a needle and thread um, heart and hand pattern. I have progressed a little bit on that. Let me have a look because I haven't worked on this one for. Actually, I've done pretty well in this, if I say so myself. Um, what can I put behind it? Let's see. This maybe. Um, I did more berries. I did some more flowers across the top. I switched the flowers to be done with uh, oatmeal instead of the called for, what was it called for? Um, it actually called for parchment, and my parchment was particularly tan. Um, so I liked oatmeal much better for the flowers. I really wanted them to pop. And then Farm Girl wrote to me and um, said she'd done hers with two strands, and I looked it up, and actually the whole project is supposed to be done in two strands. The called for fabric for this is... Um, a 35 count and she suggests you do with two strands on 35 count which I thought was interesting but maybe that's how you get it to look like um, the picture more uh, but I am using 30 I think it's 37 count I don't have it I don't have the pattern I mean the thing here I don't think but uh, I know that my count was slightly higher than what was called for, so I thought, yeah, it calls for 35, and I think I'm using 37. I have a bump in my hair. That's attractive. Um, so I felt like, <laughs> even though I didn't read the instructions, which I never do, I really must slow down. When I start a project, I'm so excited. I just dive in, 
And then I go, oh, it was supposed to be two strands. Oh, you're supposed to turn it this way. Oh, whoops, you're supposed, you know. So I need to calm down, read the instructions. Uh, I might have decided to do this with two strands, but I do like the way it's looking, and maybe that's because it's on 37 count. I think it looks fine. The thing I wanted was for these flowers to really pop, and I think by using the lighter colored thread they do. Here's the one I had, you can see I started it in the other color in the outline, it's darker. I'm gonna pull that out and make the whole flower parchment. So I love that little people have appeared, um, the funny willow tree. I've done a couple sheep. I don't know if the dark ones are supposed to be do his dogs. Maybe they're the sheep dogs. Or because they look exactly like the sheep, maybe they're just uh, brown, sheep um but that wasn't too bad i mean they're over one and it wasn't too bad so i have a few more of those sheep to do um finish the vine around a couple more motifs in the middle and i'm done so i i really enjoy stitching this one too i just love this pattern my voice is funny today it's like I've been shouting at people. I think maybe having my son here, we got into a lot of discussions about life and things, which is good. I love it. But um, I'm still a little hoarse. We have animated discussions, I say, in our house. I think that's everything that I have to show you that I've worked on. I have some haul. Um... I've wanted this forever. I finally got the Scarlet House, Hello Fall, and I'm going to do a conversion that I saw online on Instagram. And unfortunately, I've forgotten her name, whoever's it was. I liked, it had more um, oranges in there. So I'm going to do that conversion. Um, I am also going to work on the Scarlet House Autumn Alphabet. I have the little board to put it on. Um, from Homestead Needle, April at Homestead Needle, I think. Homestead Needle Work on either Etsy or Instagram is where you get the boards for that. And I couldn't resist Calvin and Trixie. I thought they were funny. I love cats that look like that for Halloween. And I thought that was very funny. And the little witch in the cup says boo so I'd like to do that one too um, and I did get Moira Blackburn I think I'm drawn on samplers not that I've ever stitched any to the sentiment that's the thing that is most important to me like this is terrible of me I must be a big chicken and not facing uh, human mortality but um, I don't love it when they go on about death and death is coming and, you know, that kind of thing. This one says, three things there are that will never come back. The arrow shot forth on its destined track. The, appointment, the appointed hour that could not wait and the helpful word that was spoken too late. And I like that sentiment, so that's what drew me to that. Plus it has a house, it's got pretty border, it's got beautiful flowery trees, it's got some deer and... I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of bird or I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, I thought that was very pretty. And I had just never seen this one. It's Merry Christmas Blackbird Designs. I'm not sure when this was released. 2012. It is simple, pretty, Merry Christmas. I liked it. And I got my club kit from um, Spring Green Country Sampler, the Red and Green Carnation Sampler. This will be another fun Christmas one to do. Now, here's what I've been thinking. Because to do the living room, we had to take everything out of it, absolutely everything out, because the walls are being blasted and the filthy dust, and then the floors are being sanded and everything, we had to clear everything out. So, a lot of my sewing stuff I put in the barn. In fact, we slept in the barn while all the work was going on, so it was very handy to be able to do that. Um, we lived out there. 
I put a lot of my sewing stuff out there, which is where I store a lot of patterns and things like that. But it kind of forced me to go through everything as I was bringing it back in and reorganize it so that it would fit within the space that I was allotted by my family. <laughs> They're like, you have that whole room in the barn. You know, you can't have your stuff all over the living room. So I have it discreetly tucked here and there in some pretty baskets and it looks fine in the living room. But um, I realized, and also I think the process of going through all my patterns with you all. I will get back to that next time. I'll finish going through the big box of patterns because I know some of you are waiting to see um, Blackbird and Prairie Schooler and stuff and those are not even in the big box of patterns but I'll I'll go through those just to finish the whole series as it were. Um, but I have been thinking that next year is going to be it's going to have to be Stitch from Stash. I um, I'm still belonging to various clubs I'll still be getting club things and of course you know, I'll be tempted and I'll make up excuses for like, oh, it's my birthday. Oh, it was Mother's Day. You know, that kind of thing. So I'll be able to get a few patterns here and there. But I'm going to try. And I'm thinking about this now because I don't want it to be a huge shock to my system come January. But um, I'm going to start thinking this way. Because going through them all, I have so many gorgeous patterns. And I'm like, oh, I love this one. Oh, I love this oh I always love this so why haven't I done it why haven't I done it why haven't I done it so the time is now I do believe convincing myself here as we're talking <laughs> I am really going to try and stitch from stash with a few notable exceptions which I may or may not officially outline um but I I just feel like you know I've got all that wonderfulness I need to use it. I don't want to have regrets. I don't want to feel like, oh, I got all that stuff and I never used it, you know. So that's my big plan. Um, I will also say that next time I think I'm going to have a big giveaway because I do have a lot of duplicate patterns. <sighs> so that's what I'm thinking. Um, oh, and I wanted to point out I'm wearing my yellow shirt in honor of Daleen of So Grateful. Um, I noticed on her inst one of her Instagram pictures that she has the same shirt. So I thought, oh, I'll wear mine today and say hi to Darlene. <laughs> hi, Darlene. Um, all right. So last time I was giving away the sew something pattern from Laurie Holt's Fat Quarter Shop. Which um, I'm intending to do myself. But I had two of them because Fat Quarter Shop sent me one. And the winner for that pattern is Betty Halmick, H-A-L-M-I-C-K. And she said she's been sewing for years. Um, she likes to change between crafts. Well, Betty, don't we all? <laughs> We're the fickle crafter society. Um, you know, whatever the mood strikes. So, uh, Betty, if you could contact me... Um, D direct message me on Instagram or uh, I will put an email address below email me if you don't hear from me email me again because I'm terrible about checking my email so um, I would love to send that pattern out to you and enjoy I hope you enjoy stitching it and I'm going to do uh, lots of giveaways next week well maybe if I can get my stuff together. Hold that thought. Maybe I'll pull some stuff together. Okay, I'm back. Um, I went out to the barn to get stuff that I wanted to show you and I realized I lied. I have more haul. <laughs> I also got Scarlet House Hannah Brownstone. I really am on a Scarlet House kick, as you will see. Um, I got Pumpkins and Bittersweet. I'm in a fall mood and by the time all this I get organized with all this, it will be on to Christmas. Uh, Plum Street Sampler, Plum, Plum Street Sampler's Bounty Sampler. I think maybe Carol Saltbuck Stitcher showed this, and I'm like, eh, that's one I don't have, I need. <laughs> I also have, and really want to do Quaker Pumpkins, Hello by Liz Matthews. And Kitten Stitcher, I don't know if these were on sale or I just saw them on her website and um, 
I have some other by uh, Carriage House samplings that I have intended to do for a long time. And I thought, I don't have these two and I really want them. So I got Quaker Stocking. They give you a blue and a sort of brown tan version you can do. And Primitive Stocking. I had the Pennsylvania folk one. And I, and I have the Embroiderous and I, I think that I have one other one. But now I have these as well. And the final one I got was um, Prairie School, or I'd never seen this, Song of the Seasons. And I love Christmas carols. Um, and this has like, Oh Come All Ye Faithful, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Peace on Earth, Goodwill to Men, Deck the Halls with Boughs of Holly, Joy to the World, and Jolly Old St. Nicholas. So when I, I see that, I just, the, the tunes start running in my head, so... All right, some other stuff I wanted to show you was some goodies I got from Fat Quarter Shop, which are so cool. I'm gonna dig in there and pull it out. Um, I was gonna order these and then they sent me some, so I can't wait to try them, let you know what I think, these floss bitties. Really cute, it's like the floss drops, but they've got little sewing motifs on them. So they've got, one has needle, one has scissors, one has thimble, and one has a floss. And super cute, as Kimberly would say, um, you put a ring through this side and then you put your floss through the other side and you, or you can wind the floss around the middle. But I'm very excited to start trying those. And this beautiful needle minder, which I was also going to order myself, which goes with the Prim series. A beautiful quilt star. And then this I'm very excited about is the Bonnie and Camille. I love, love, love Bonnie and Camille fabric. But this great bag, Bonnie and Camille quilt bee bag. Um, perfect for going to cross stitch retreats <laughs> which we're not doing any of this year so thank you fat quarter shop i am delighted to try those out and let you know what i think um now giveaways this is the pattern that uh betty helmick won I, i'll show it now so Betty, get in touch with me and I'll mail you that. I am going to do big giveaway next time because I've got so many things to give away. I want to give away a bunch of them. Um, for this time, I'm going to give this away. Uh, I gave it away last year and nobody ever claimed it. So um, I'm going to give it away again because it's timely. I should have given it away a couple weeks ago, I guess. It's the Cross Stitch 2019 Halloween Special. So if you'd like to win this magazine, just say magazine. Don't say contest, don't say giveaway, don't say free. Um, just somewhere in your comment, put the word magazine because I'll search for magazine. I better write these things down because Lord knows I'll make a mistake. Um, so the first one, number one, is magazine. So if you'd like to win this, put... Actually, if I'm going mm, to do several giveaways, maybe... I should number them. Maybe we'll do it like Priscilla and Chelsea. All right, number one will be this. If you want the magazine, put number one. I finally, in you know, pulling all my things together, I'm finding a lot of things and I'm trying to organize a lot of things. So I don't know if you remember from previous videos, but I ended up with three copies of Shakespeare's Peddlers, Antique Locks and Keys. One was gifted to me by Leanne, which is the one I'm using, um, because she felt sad for me that I had lost mine when we said we were doing a sal. Um, so, and someone else sent me one. So that's the kindness of cross stitchers. So these are new patterns. Um, Shakespeare's Peddler, Antique Locks and Key. I've got two of them. So two people can win that. That will be number two. So if you're interested in that, put number two. Then... What else shall I throw in this time? 
think we'll do three this time. <laughs> I'm telling you, got a lot of things I can give away. Um, I will give this away as well. It's a very cute pattern by uh, Fat Quarter Shop. It's so Emma, homegrown. It's a big sunflower. And it spells the word home. And I have this um, already. So I'm going to give away my extra copy. So if you're interested in this, put number three. So if you want to try for any of them, put one, comma, two, three. Um, you have to put the numbers individually so that I know you would be wanting to win those. So number one, magazine, number two, locks and keys, two chances for that, and number three, home. So we should have four winners next time, and then I'm going to assemble a nice big packet of goodies, too, for next time. I know there's lots of other stuff I wanted to tell you about, but I'm just not organized yet for that. So this will just be a quick video this time. I'll pop on and say hello, and I hope you're all doing well. Um, and excited about fall here, being here. I do love this. As I said, I hate to say goodbye to one season, but I love the next one that comes because in Pennsylvania, we really get, pretty much we get four distinct seasons. So we're having fall now. Um, I saw a sign you could put in your house that said, we have too much candy or Halloween candy, said no one ever. Because of course you know what happens is you buy it. We're not getting any trick-or-treaters this year. We never get any trick-or-treaters. I used to buy it because we would t go to a neighbor's, um, a friend's neighborhood, and my kids would trick-or-treat with her kids. And so I would contribute candy that we, the moms, would sit and give out to the other kids who came. We'd alternate. Sometimes the dads would take the kids around the neighborhood, and the moms would give out the candy, and sometimes the moms would walk around the neighborhood with the children, and the dads would give out the candy. But... Um, those days are long gone. My youngest is 20 and in college. Um, and I don't know how well trick-or-treating is going this year. I don't know if people are actually going to do that or if they're going to have parties in their house or, you know, make it like a hunt for the kid. I heard somebody say, do a, a hunt, like Easter egg hunt around your house rather than going out and getting candy from other people. So that's probably a good idea. Anyway, my point is I did buy candy and we've been eating it. <laughs> so I don't know what got me off on that tangent just thinking about Halloween coming I guess um, Halloween in a couple weeks so anyway I hope you're not eating too much candy <laughs> like me um, I hope you're having fun and getting lots of stitching done and saying well and I will get my act get my rear gear get my act together and hopefully be back soon with more to show you and I hope I get a lot of stitching done too because then it's more fun to show you. Like I hate to show you something and say, oh, I didn't, I put in two stitches. whoop de doo what's the, what's the fun in that? So uh, one of these days I'm going to try and get together um, a little video of questions I've received. I, I, there's hundreds of them on the, on the internet. So I, that's why I've hesitated in the past, but people always ask me what's a pin stitch, how do you stitch in hand, all this stuff. If I can show you, I will, um, but I shouldn't make promises that I don't know that I can keep because I think the people who are most successful showing you that kind of stuff have a really good setup. Their lighting's really good. They've got a way to hold their camera at a good angle so you can really see what they're doing. And um, so maybe you should just look for those. <laughs> but other than that, um, it's nice to check in with you guys and I hope to see you soon and stay well and all good things. Bye.